Guys, the Grumples are coming. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to AI on Crypto. We've got to make a video today about Goblin Town NFT project because a major milestone for the project, for the community, is coming in less than a week. And that is the highly anticipated reveal of the Grumples. So if you're into the NFT space, then no doubt you've heard of Goblin Town. But if you're new, Goblin Town is one of the hottest NFT projects, only a couple of months old, but has made noise unlike any project since the Board Ape Yacht Club. It had an absolutely meteoric rise from a free mint all the way to a floor price of 9 ETH. Then everything was executed so flawlessly, so amazingly, everyone thought it was Yuga Labs. But when it was revealed to not be them, and Truth Labs was revealed as the creator, the project has cooled down only from a price standpoint but since then we've gotten our burgers we've been exposed to other incredible art like the illuminati nft project from truth labs and now we're finally getting to use those burgers in a trap with our goblins to catch grumples so what's a grumple check out this pink guy on my screen right here this is the next phase of the goblin town story being told in metadata on web3 now, guys, I truly believe that Truth Labs is the hottest project right now, and they're going to take the community to incredible heights. Even though the price is down right now, that's only because nothing goes up in a straight line. The price is not down because the project is disappointing or the team is under-delivering. In fact, they continue to raise the bar. When you look at this grumple on your screen right now, you can see that this is not a derivative of the first collection goblins. Look, there's nothing wrong with mutants or, you know, modified versions of the original. I love the Mutant Ape Yacht Club. I love the new Detonated Tune series. It's very cool to do that type of thing. But this is a second drop unlike any we've seen before. And it's happening very quickly after the first one. This is a whole new creature type and trait set coming to this ecosystem so that we can further the narrative that Truth Labs is slowly telling us. So on this video here today, we're going to get hyped about the Grumple Drop or Reveal, which is happening in less than a week. I'm also, of course, going to tell you everything you need to know to make sure you get your Grumple before anybody else. So I'm going to show you how to create a Grumple with your burger and your goblin, or how to buy a trap if you don't have a goblin and a burger, but you still want to make sure you get your Grumple before Reveal. All right, guys, we're going to dive into all that stuff on this video right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max while staying far away from Rec City. We make daily cryptocurrency content covering NFTs, play and earn blockchain gaming, Metaverse, DeFi, and more. So if you're looking for that kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the community. Make sure you tap that bell so you don't miss any time-sensitive videos in the future. And also remember that nothing said here is financial advice. Cryptocurrency, NFTs are highly volatile, highly risky. Do your own research, talk to a pro before making any major decisions. All right, guys, so here we are. We are so close to the Grumples. Um, for me, it's something that I've been really, really anticipating for the last couple of months now, and I am beyond the moon excited. So wh what do you need to know for this upcoming Grumple reveal? Well, guys, if you go to goblintown.wtf, it will take you to the Goblin Town website. Once you get there, you're going to want to hit the button that says get to Luton or Baton. All right. So Luton is if you have a, bur a goblin with an unclaimed burger and you want to claim your burger. But what we're going to be talking about today is the baiting. That's the process in which you take your goblin and you use a burger to, get a, to create a grumple trap, which within seven days is going to turn into a revealed grumple. And, any, uh, and that will be the end of the grumple collection. So whatever the quantity is at that point, that is the size of the collection. Now, here's the cool thing, guys. Truth Labs is just so fun. 
You can enjoy this experience with all of us goblin holders, even if you don't have a goblin. All you have to do is this exact process in demo mode. So we're gonna do this process together in demo mode. So of course, guys, what you do is you go to Goblin Town, get to loot in our baiting, then select get to baiting, and now you're gonna select the demo mode. Now the first thing you can see is the timer. So you can see that there is less seven days to set your trap. Now you can buy traps right now, guys. If you don't have a goblin, if you don't have a burger, go to OpenSea and the collection is Grumples. G-U-R-M-P-L-S. Uh, it's a current floor price of 0.86 Ethereum. So almost one Ethereum floor for these unrevealed Grumples. And the price has already come down a little bit, unlike a lot of projects that continue going up all the way to rebuild. And it's a very thin floor. It actually goes above one ETH really quickly. <clears throat> now, the thing about these traps, guys, like if you look right here, this is a trap that actually has two burgers in it. When you're setting your trap, you have the option to use one burger, two burger, or three burgers. Now, of course, the more burgers you use, the idea is you're getting a more a coveted rare type of grumple. So that's kind of how this thing is done. If you don't have a goblin, if you don't have a burger, just go to Open C, check out the Grumples collection, and you can actually buy a trap so you can still have this pre reveal and be one of the very first people to have a Grumple. All right, guys, so the other way you can make sure you have your Grumple is to actually use your goblin, use your burger, and set the trap yourself. So what you do here is you come to this guy. What and, are you doing back here? We take the trash out the front. You're looking for a grumble. So you just basically oh, click the narrative, and this is a really fun, right cool process. You're in the right place, because those little hoosies just can't resist the smell of their goblin burgers. <laughs> so this isn't just some quick claim. Back today wasn't as easy to find them. Have you ever heard the legend? The last time the Grumples got loose? Well, it's an old tale for sure. Lots of adventure and heroes and piss and good things like that. Well, I tell it to you just the way my grand gobby told me. Except a little different, because he lost his tongue trying to eat a burger right off the grill. All right, guys, just a quick pause. Uh, you can see that everything Truth Labs does with this Goblin Town collection is truly taking you along a story. This is so much cooler than just having something airdrop to you or going and claiming something. This is part of the narrative. This is part of what has made Goblin Town the hottest NFT project right now, regardless of the price. So let's get back. So let's get back to this story and uh, finish out this process of baiting. And everything you ever said sounded like <laughs> Anyway, well, it must have been about 300 years ago when this mysterious egg come crashing in out of the sky right in the middle of the Gob Town Golf Course. Now them Gob golfers weren't so happy about that because it landed right in the middle of the fairway on Old Seven. So pretty soon, one of them up and smashed it with a five iron, and it dribbled weird space goop off. Where are you from, anyway, Scrub? Goblin Town Don't Golf like Course. Is that a hint? Clubs? You have to take a look sometime. Great for them. Just wide open green and teeny tiny little wooden tees to chew on. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So let's get back to the grumples, bro. You know it. Along comes derpy old rainbow butt pony. <laughs> Splashes unicorn all over the space goop. And then if that wasn't enough, some dopey old wizard come and zappy zap the goop and it start glowing and growing and then powy! There's all these cute little what's it's running around. <clears throat> exactly so. Grumples. Of course, ain't nobody knowed what they were yet. Boy, were they hungry. They ate just about everything they could get their hands on, bouncing like little popcorns. 
It wasn't until they chowed on the burgers they started to slow down a bit, and then they started farting up the storm. And ever since, those gogs just ended up feeling a lot better with them around. Never really put much thought into it. But we sure feel a lot worse when we don't have grumbles. All right, guys, so they are taking us through the lore here. We see that there's a relationship between goblins and grumples. The goblins are not as happy when there aren't grumples around. So what does that mean? Is there going to be something in the system where your goblin performs better with a grumple? All right, so let's ask him, how do I bait a grumple? Or wait, wait, wait. Or, but if they're all over the place anyways, why do we got to trap them? Don't you know what happened when a big critter gets his mouth around a grumple? Ooh-wee, that's a bad time. Take old Sleepy over here. If he were to eat one of them grumbles, well... No gobby know for sure what'll happen exactly, but last time a big beastie ate one, we got ourselves into the great big very bad war. Just about destroyed all of Gob Town. So we catches them as often as we can and keeps them safe from the big beasties. All right, so that that's more of the story. So now we know that if the big creatures in this world eat a grumple, bad stuff happens. All right, so here it goes, and he's given us the instructions where we can use one burger, two burger, or three burger. If you're looking for a grumple, you gotta know how to grab one. They're picky little ears. You have some food, though? <coughs> ah, shouldn't be a problem then. Just make sure you don't fuck it up. You gotta take your burger and pick what part you wanna set in the grumple trap. Now, you can do one burger, or a few, but you gotta be careful with that. Oh, the Urky likes to make a special sideways burger with peepees. She thinks it gets you a special kind of crumple, but no gobby's ever seen So if you have a one-of-one one burger one combo, sleepy, or a one-of-one one one goblin, you actually get a one-of-one one grumple, I think. Okay, sure. All that was super easy to understand. Are you ready to bait a grumble? We're ready. So after you get the story, you can skip all that. There are buttons where you can okay, skip sure. it. But all for this video, I wanted to hear the story with you guys. Are you ready to bait a grumble? All right, so let's do it. I feel weird. Let's do some baiting. All right, so now we're going to select our bait. Let's go with combo number one. All right. And then when you do that, you can then select your toppings. All right. Well, okay, so you can do one or multiple burgers. Heck, let's do all... Let's do all three. Bait the traps. Okay. So if you do all three, the toppings button goes away. But if you only use one burger in the trap, you can select the toppings. All right? So look at that. You can do all six toppings. You can leave a topping off. And these are the things that nobody knows exactly how this will affect the grumples that are created. But this is the game theory that is behind this incredible project because we don't know what the heck to do because we all want the most rare uh, grumples. Anyways, let's go uh, with two toppings. All right, let's do it. Now we've baited it. We got the grumple on screen claiming... I'm so excited, I just peed a little bit. <laughs> and then we get the grumple fart. So how freaking awesome is that, guys? That is an amazing process. Now, when I talk about game theory, this is exactly what I'm talking about. When we go to the collection right now, we can see that there are 2.3 thousand of these traps made. That means if the reveal happened right now, there would only be... 2.3 thousand grumples in all of creation now that number is going to go up because there's people like myself who has five burgers that haven't baited any this has been an option now we've been able to do this for two weeks and so now we're going into the last week i have been waiting just so i can see what everyone else does and how things are playing out before i uh use my burgers to make this trap now, you might be asking yourself, well, what am I waiting for? Why don't I just do it? Well, it has been announced 
that there's going to be a second purpose for the burgers in the future. In other words, if you decide to just keep your burger combo, which is these things right here, every single person who had a goblin was able to claim one of these awesome burgers and customize it the way they wanted. And all of these things, the customization, the toppings you choose in that process we just looked at, it's all going to affect, we believe, the appearance of your grumple. And the team has said that there will be some future utility of the burger. So us in the community, we're thinking to ourselves, hmm, what is that future utility? And what if there's not very many burgers left? That will be really rare in the future. But what I'm looking at is what if there's a lot of people saying, well, I'm going to sit on my burger. Well, that might mean that the grumples are very rare. And also, how many one burger grumples are there going to be? How many two burger and how many three burger? Well, you can actually already go right now, guys. This is kind of the cool thing. How many burgers? And you can see that right now, of the 2,300 um, grumple traps, 1,600 of them have one burger, 402 of them have three burgers, and 281 have two burgers. So that's interesting, right? Because the three burger combo is more expensive because these burgers have a very high floor price of point. 7.3 Ethereum, that's a lot of money. That's like $1,500, right? Um, so you would think that the three burger trap would be the best. But if this plays out as it currently sits, well, the two burger grumples are going to be significantly more rare than the three. So these are the kind of game theory mechanics that we're all really enjoying right now in this incredible goblin burger experience and grumple trapping. And here's the part. So you saw that area where it asked us how many toppings do we want to use. Well, now we can see there's this thing right here, how many parts. And we can see that by far the most rare is one with only 148 and also two topping 148. The most common by far is six toppings with 587. So this is a really crazy experience, guys. Look at that grumple just sitting there with those awesome farts, man. This is so funny. Um, guys, Goblin Town is just getting started. And when you go back to this screen, look, there's already something cooking under the baiting. So the moment these grumples get rebuilt, we're going right, right there to the next phase. So guys, this is why this is by far my favorite project in, in all of the NFT space right now because they keep us on our toes, they keep us guessing, and they just allow us to have so much fun with our NFTs. And I don't think in any way, shape, or form this will be the last utility for the goblins or the grumples. This, this is just getting started. So going back to the timer, guys, there's only 6 days and 20 hours left to set your trap. And then, however many traps are set, that's how many grumples there's going to be. All right, so I told you that you were going to get everything you needed to know, and you got it. Hope you liked the video. If you haven't done it already, subscribe, tap the bell. We'll catch you on the next one.